Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So hopefully everyone's having a good day and today we're doing another idea commented by one of you guys. So let's just get straight into this actually. So um, actually what I'm saying up though, many many thanks to someone who's um, subscribed and all that good stuff because this the subscriber count is still going up so fast right now. It is absolutely insane. I just cannot thank you guys enough. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, consider it, and hopefully you won't regret it. But anyways, yeah, today what we're doing is we're getting the brightest star, so R1, I can never say this one, R136A1. We're going to basically replace it with the sun, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to shrink the solar system till Jupiter is at the orbit of Mercury. So, let's go and do this. So, shrink system is here. So is that working? Wait, is anything happening? Shrink. Dang it. Um... Anything? Please? Um, drink. Come on. Uh, game, game's broken, people. <laughs> what if I slow down time really, really fast, then hit play, and then, and then press auto all, but let's try that. So if I slow down time to pretty much nothing, so let's go to the lowest it can go. So we're going to have to delete the sun, it looks like. So let's go in here. Is it sun? Please behave, sun. There it is. Oh, sun! Alright, get rid of you. So then we'll go tools and we'll go auto orbit. Now we're going to have to quickly hit play and hit pause. Okay, so the temperature didn't heat up. Okay, that's good. So now these guys should be orbiting this, this star. Okay, they are. Perfect. So now, here is Mercury. So just looking at Mercury, we've got to remember this number actually. So Mercury, no, 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 I don't want to do moves. Mercury is 0 0.325 AU away. So we need to get Jupiter to that point. So that's going to be pretty interesting. So we'll keep an eye on Jupiter's stats there actually. So... 0 0.329, okay, got to remember that. So now we need to shrink the system, so tools, and do this, and then shrink system. Okay, it's so perfect, so shrink, shrink, so you can see the settings on Jupiter going down there, so 0 0.3, okay, so let's just put it to that, so shrink, 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 so 0 0.3, okay, oh, that's changed, okay, 0 0.3, come on, 0 0.6, okay, so a little more, shrink, now don't expand, shrink, all right, shrink, shrink, so 0 0.325, so 0 0.332 or 0. Point, okay, so this is pretty much the closest we can get it. So actually, no, is it actually was it this? Oh no, no, we got it. Look, 0 0.325. Oh, we got it dead on. Perfect. All right, so this is in the exact right place. So damn, this is going to be intense. Look how close Mercury is to this. I think the solar system is going to be in for a bad time. <laughs> like you can see Saturn here as well. Damn. Where's, where's Planet 9 at? Or Planet 9 is still at a relatively safe distance, I guess. It's at 11.11 AU. So this is like the distance of Jupiter or, or Saturn or Uranus, I think. Somewhere around that distance. So this thing's still pretty far away. Sedna, look at you. Two, so Sedna's still reasonably close. But anyways, as soon as I hit play, I think all hell's going to break loose here. Venus is going to literally boil. So, yeah, this is clearly how to roast the solar system. Because <laughs> this is the brightest star ever discovered here, so this is going to be pretty crazy. So, if I hit play, we'll travel pretty much as slow as the game can go here. Anything happen? Okay, we're just going to have to speed up a little more. So, let's go to about real time, I guess. So, not milliseconds. What do you mean simulation can't run any faster? You're having a laugh. There's no way. Look at this. 70,000 degrees. Venus is already smoking up and it's only been a few milliseconds. It's only taken milliseconds for the planets to start, like, spraying out material. Look at this. It's only been milliseconds. This is insane. Mercury, 30,000 degrees. And it's still increasing. Wow. Hey, what if we speed up to a few... Oh my god. This is insane. Let's just put the background on um, um, just stars, just so we don't have the Milky Way in the way. Series, you're probably not doing even series. Oh my god. Okay, this is insane. So, can we even speed up any quicker than this? Okay, I think we can. Where's Earth? Earth, where are you at? Earth has still got water on it, apparently. What if I turn off climate mode? There we go, that fixed it. <laughs> Alright, so, right, there we go, that's what should be happening. So, now, oh my god, this is insane. Oh, look at all the material. Oh, there we go. All the planets are doing it now. So, we've got Mars over there. Okay, wait, is Mars... Wait, have we already lost Mars? Wait, Mars? Are you... Are you a lot? Oh, whoa, look how many objects are left. That's insane. This... 
We've only been going for a few minutes, I think. And this has already happened. Because ignore that 36 years thing. But that This simulation was made... Um, well, like, this is a custom simulation, so the time was already ahead anyway. But 36... Or, not 36. This has literally happened in minutes. Like, is this is the next dwarf planet on the kill list? Is it going to survive? Let's hit play. There's no way, surely. There's no way this can survive. Yeah, but the inner planets are just gone. Like, already. Like, you can see the remains of where they were. But that's it. Wait, did we just lose Saturn as well? Wait, we just lost another thing. Oh, no, wait. So, Sedna and this one. So, it's just Sedna and this one left. Okay, so, still playing here. Oh, the, there's no way these will survive. There's just no way. Surely. So, it's losing material. We just need to speed it up a little more. This should just vaporize. Surely. There's no way a little object like this could orbit this close to that star. Look at all the trails. You can just see all the spray of material shooting out of these objects. Uranus, how are you doing? Okay, losing material as well. Look how hot it is. 14,000 degrees. That's that's like double the temperature of the sun, if you didn't know. I think the sun's about... Oh, that's more than double. It's like three times. The sun's about 5,500 degrees in the game. This is almost three times that. That is insane. Sedna, how are you surviving? There's no way. Sedna. And then this one as well. Oh, it is losing size. That was at 600 kilometers a minute ago. Now it's at um, 593. So it is going down. Okay, so if we speed up as fast as we go, here we go. This is one of the objects that always survives as well in the in my when supernovas go off in my episodes. Sedna, where is Sedna? Okay, Sedna, you're gonna go down finally, surely. Let's have a look, Sedna. Come on, Sedna. Look, look up, Sedna. Let's go to Sedna, please. All right. So, oh, even Sedna's going down. That is very rare. It's very rare in my episodes that Sedna actually goes down here. Look at this. So, it may take a while, but I think Sedna's going to go down. And Uranus and Neptune also vaporized into nothing. Wait, have another? They're gone, yeah. Uranus and Neptune can't handle it. Saturn, are you getting any smaller? Even Saturn's going. Damn. But these things are bigger. They've got more mass to lose. They can afford to lose mass, but the little ones, they can't. That's why the inner planets and stuff are already gone. Jupiter, even Jupiter is losing mass. I think this is going to vaporize the whole system apart from Planet Nine. Because Planet Nine is just Planet Nine. It always this is this is the most common survivor in my episodes. Planet Nine, how are you doing? Have you lost any mass whatsoever? Let's have a look. Materials, mass loss. Okay, it's barely lost anything. Yeah, that 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 is barely lost anything. It's not even lost one moon in mass. This thing is fine, but the inner objects over here. Wow, they are so dumb. There's no way the Sedna's surviving this. Surely, there's just no way. Come on, Sedna, get small. We know you want to. This thing's completely gone. Look at this. It's just... That's it. It's just gone. Alright, so Sedna, Jupiter, and Saturn are the only things that are left. And Planet Nine, of course. But Saturn... Look how much of Earth it's losing. This is only happening in a few days... Of, of six days of, um, at a time here, but... Look at the mass. Jupiter, how are you doing? 128. So Jupiter's got a ton more mass than Saturn in it. But Saturn... One of the, the second largest planet in the solar system here is going down. Right now, it's smaller than Uranus is, I think. Let's have a look. Um, or Neptune. Yeah, look, it's smaller than Neptune originally was. That's just how small this is. It's got less mass. Poor old, oh my god, it's just completely just puffed into nothing there. And and that's it. That's Saturn gone. So, the only thing left is Jupiter and Sedna. Sedna, how are you not getting smaller? Surely this should... There's no way this would survive, right? Well, the game's saying... Or well, the game thinks it will Sedna would survive this, but I don't really think that is true. But yeah, Jupiter. Even the largest planet in the solar system cannot survive the intense... Like, a tense luminosity of this star. That is just how bright this thing is. It's insane. Like, we featured it in a few episodes before, where we just put it in the solar system without changing anything. But when you shrink the solar system and put Jupiter where Mercury's orbit was, damn, this is insane. Look, it's still losing mass here. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this. Speed up a bit more. Oh, oh my god, that is some blinding flashes there. Okay, so... Wow, Jupiter. I can't believe that even that... Oh, this Sedna is is getting smaller slowly but surely. I'm guessing since it's further away, it's obviously receiving a little less energy from that. So it can hang on a little longer. But Jupiter has gone. It looks like Rouge Limit tore it up as well. It's just been torn to shreds. <laughs> oh, poor Jupiter, man. Is it still exist or is it completely gone? Nope, Jupiter's completely gone. So this is all that's left of Jupiter, is this lot. <laughs> Damn. So Jupiter has been reduced to nothing. Like, these are, these are like the size of a mountain. Like, we compare it to Mars, for instance. 
with all of Mars's volcanoes. Look how big Mars is. Like, if we put just put Mars there, like these fragments are tiny. Can, look, there's a Martian volcano there, for instance. Let's just quickly grab the fra fragment. Move. Can I grab it, please? Why can't I move it? Okay, but if we just. Okay, so there we go. So here is a fragment, and there is some volcanoes of Mars there. Where, where's Olympus Mons? If you didn't know, that's the largest volcano on Mars. Is it? Where, where's Olympus Mons? I think I can spot it from space. Where, where is it? Um, there it is. That's Olympus Mons there. So if we just compare it to Olympus Mons, which is there, yeah, you can see there the four Martian volcanoes there. I don't know these three, but I know that's Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. This is smaller than the volcano on Mars. Well, that is a pretty big volcano, but this would almost fit inside the crater of the volcano, it looks like. Look, that's insane. Look, there's the little crater there. You can see it there. This thing would almost fit in the crater. That's insane. Look how small this thing is. So, that, that's pretty crazy. So let's get rid of that Mars and resume where we left off. So, these fragments have made a little ring around the star now. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, these probably won't last long. They, these probably just vaporise into nothing as well. Because there's just no way they'd survive. Like, come on now. Sedna? Come on, we got we just got to speed up time on Sedna now. Those fragments are just going to disappear eventually anyway. So, Sedna, you've got to go, buddy. You always survive. You've got to go. Here we go. Now we just have to watch the countdown as Sedna is slowly reduced to nothingness. So, yeah, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> yeah, so, this might take a while. Can we go any faster? No, this is the fastest we can run, so... Damn. So, Sedna's going to take its sweet time, because we're going to have it go down properly. I'm not going to make it... I'm not going to enter any numbers in to make this go faster. I'm going to watch it go down properly, because... Sedna deserves it. It always just watches and laughs when Uranus and Neptune get destroyed by Novas and then it survives because it's so far away. But today, Planet Nine will have the last laugh. Because I think, yeah, Planet Nine is fine. If we just look at Planet Nine, it's not lost any mass. It's got still got 10 masses of Earth like originally. It's just really hot. So, Sedna, you're not surviving today. Sedna is going down, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> finally, we finally got, we finally killed Sedna. <laughs> It only took so, well, it only took like 200 episodes of Universe Sandbox or however many I've made, but yeah. So even, even, this thing even survives supernova sometimes, but it's great to finally see it getting vaporized by the brightest star. Because it's very rare for Sedna to get destroyed in my episodes, like I said, it's just so far away, but when you shrink the solar system down and it's, in its orbit is a little, I think that's all, I think that orbit is, um, yeah, I think that is closer than Jupiter is to the Sun normally. 2.91 AU, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I think Jupiter's 5 AU away. So this would be in the asteroid belt, I believe, if it was here. Actually, let's add the asteroid belt in just to check. So the asteroid belt would be here. So yeah, this that like was, yeah, was right. This would be in the asteroid belt if it was um here. So yeah, remember Jupiter was in the orbit of Mercury. So all the other stuff would have been closer. So pretty insane stuff so this would be where the asteroid belt is so this is like the location of where Ceres and stuff originally was before but they got vaporized really quick so yeah there's that and now this thing is so small and Sedna here we go should we do a countdown no we won't do a countdown but here we go any second now Sedna is gonna go yeah there we go it's gone so Sedna has been destroyed by R136A way or A1 so all that's left is Planet 9, and that is it. There's nothing left to vaporize. We have destroyed the solar system, apart from Planet 9, which is just Planet 9. Planet 9's always got to be different. <laughs> it always survives. But yeah. Actually, no, no, no. Planet 9's not surviving the punishment. We're, we're shrinking the solar system more. We, we've got to have, we've got to end this off with Planet 9 going as well. So let's slowly shrink it down, you know. Here we go. Planet 9. Sorry, buddy. Oh, look at them. Whoa. That got disintegrated pretty quick. Well, I guess it's had less mass than Earth, or less mass than Uranus or Neptune, but this has just destroyed everything just that quickly. That is just how much of a powerhouse this star is. Let's look at the stats here. It's got a lot of mass. It's got a lot of big radius as well. Not the biggest radius, obviously, if we compare it to um, Antares, which is a red supergiant. Yeah, this thing is not big. And then UI Scutty as well. Yeah, like this thing is not very large, but comparing it to the red giant sun. It's it's, 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 it's it's a decent size. Like, there's a red giant sun. It's, it's fairly big. Got a few other stars here. Like, yeah, it's, it's a fairly large star. But, yeah, but the the, the, um, the surface temperature and the luminosity of this are literally unmatched. 
like this is insane the only thing that can compete could be compete with this is probably the pistol star which is here so it's a bigger star and it's also very luminous but i custom made this but yeah the luminosity on this isn't accurate so don't go by those um, results there but yeah there's the pistol star so that would probably be the only thing that could compete with this since the pistol star is also one of the brightest stars ever found but this is the brightest i believe so there you go. This thing is just an absolute powerhouse. But yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys all enjoy this episode where the solar system literally just got roasted. Like, maybe I'll call the video title that or something. But yeah, so this is how you roast the solar system. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure if you've got any ideas for another video, feel free to leave them down below. I always check the comments um, within the 24 hours of video being up usually. So yeah, there we go. And yeah, make sure to, if you haven't already, subscribe, leave a like and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you all have a good day. Peace.